What's going on guys, it's Aspect here and today I wanted to bring you guys a video on how to boost, increase your FPS in the new Epic Games game, Spellbreak. So it's a very simple guide, however there are many videos on YouTube already making the process a lot more complicated than it needs to be, making videos about 8-10 to 10 minutes long which is not necessary because this is very easy. So I hope I can help you guys in a short manner and so let's do it guys first you have display mode i put windowed full screen because it seems to work best for me give me an extra about three frames but however it won't fluctuate much with what you want to put it on so if you want to do window or full screen that's fine but window full screen works for me so i recommend it limit fps so this one you actually don't want to do unlimited because it will fluctuate too much while it can fluctuate higher it can also fluctuate lower so i would set it to cap it at your monitor's hertz if your monitor is 144 you set it to 144 if your monitor is 60 like mine you set it to 60. graphics quality so this one is going to go to custom automatically when you are changing things around however if you want to do auto it will automatically get your pc specs and what what it thinks it's best for it 3D resolution. This one is very important. So this is going to help your FPS a lot. If you put it lower, you're actually going to lose quality, but get a lot better frames. So realistically, if you have a really bad computer and you're lagging a lot and you don't mind the graphics being top notch, you're going to want to put it all the way down. However, I found putting it in the middle works best for me because that way I'm not trading quality for frames or frames for quality. So around the first number being 1300 and 1400, it seems to work best for me. And as you can see, I'm staying between 59 frames. So I capped it at 60, that's great. My view distance. So you wanna put this not on near. So near will actually boost your FPS, but it's only by like five, which is not worth it in a battle royale game where you wanna see people coming at you. So I would set it at ultra or at far if you don't wanna push it too far. Next, we have shadows. Shadows is a big part of your frames, so you're gonna wanna take this off to boost your FPS as much as possible. Anti-aliasing, off. Textures, low. Effects, low. Post-processing, low. V-Sync, you want this off. If you have a good graphics card, you can leave it on, and what V-Sync does, it um, stops screen tearing. But if you have an older graphics card like mine, I have a 750 Ti, then you're going to want to leave it off because that's going to boost your frames a lot more and keep it steady where you capped it on your limit FPS. Display performance, obviously it's not a necessity, but I do recommend it, you know, just so you can see where your frames is at. So that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty simple guide. Once again, you can see right here I'm staying between 59 frames, which I capped it at 60. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped, please subscribe, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.